Last Tuesday, eight-year-old Roger Beyer was on his way out of this garage when his younger sister pushed the button to close the automatic door. Roger had only a few seconds to slide through the narrowing gap. That time, I didn't make it. His mother found him just as the door pinned Roger's head to the concrete floor. I was screaming at him, Roger, can you hear me, Roger, Roger? And by then he had already done quit screaming and his eyes was closed and he just looked like he was dead. His face was all purple. Roger remembers some hazy feelings before blacking out. Someone, someone said that when the clock runs out, I'm gonna die. And the clock kept going around and around faster and faster. And it was like water coming through my face, going through my head and stuff. Christine tried unsuccessfully to free her son, then ran to a neighbor for help. No one could raise the door by hand. We wedged an aluminum baseball bat underneath it, thinking that it would turn around and it would start heading back up from the pressure. The rescuers ran inside and found the emergency release cord. But as soon as they released the cord and got the door off of him, they saw his chest expand. And he started to breathe. And that's when he got that gasp of air and started to breathe again. Roger was flown to the hospital by Life Flight helicopter. Today, he is well, except for broken blood vessels in his eyes. We asked the Consumer Product Safety Commission to examine buyer's door. All automatic doors are supposed to reverse if they strike an object two inches or more above the floor. Obviously, it's a very dangerous situation. I would suggest having the door serviced. Other Oregon families have not been so lucky. Four years ago in Bend, seven-year-old Jason Opdyke was trapped under the automatic garage door in his home. The door crushed him to death. Garage doors can close with as much as 400 pounds of force. Roger Byer says he has learned his lesson. Don't go into the garage door again.